Okay, so before we get started in the actual tutorial videos, I want to show you a few quick options about Backlink Beast that you're going to want to know about. So before you get started, there's a couple of things to look at. This is the actual menu where you're going to start your projects. We have account creation, submissions, RSS feeds, account profile, and URL list. There's some tools included here, clearing cookies and IE, a smart thing to do when you're going from submission to submission. There's the tiered linking option, which we'll talk about, a site links, and a connection to link pipeline if you're also a member there. And then the options menu, which I wanted to talk about now. When you're creating accounts with Backlink Beast to actually submit for backlinks, you can, you'll can you often get prompted for something that's called CAPTCHA. Now you've seen this across the internet before. This is where you get a box that comes up and you have to type some letters in to verify your submission. There's services out there that actually do this for you. Now two of them that we support is Decapture and Death by CAPTCHA. You simply just put in your username and password for those services and the CAPTCHAs will automatically be filled in if you have a balance on those sites. It generally only costs you know, a few bucks per thousand, so if you're using a lot of account creation, this is something that will absolutely speed up the process of using Backlink Beast. Currently, this is set to manual, meaning that when you go and set up new accounts, you'll actually have to type in the CAPTCHA to validate. The second option is the proxy option. So for those of you who want to stay super under the radar, you have the option of actually using proxies. Now Backlink Beast is a browser emulator, which means that it actually goes out and it acts like a person. Now what that means is, is that that could potentially be tracked back at some point in time to your IP, which means that clearing cookies and IE, changing your email address and logins often is a smart thing to do. Now for those of us who are going to be extra, extra, extra cautious, we've added the capabilities to actually use proxies and these are these are basically methodologies where you're going out and using the browser emulator looking like it's all coming from different locations. Now to do this, it's a really simple format. You simply enable proxies and then you're going to go add brackets and you're going to have your IP address which is going to be something like this and then you're going to have your port which could be four digits like that. Now you could have a whole bunch of these and you just go one after the other and add in the proxies that you have available to you. Again, you don't have to use proxies, but if you choose to use proxies, that's how you set them up. And then last but not least, the general tab. These settings are the default settings. I highly recommend keeping the default settings to make sure that you're not going to create any issues with Google or any of these other websites. The only box that you will have to change is the run program automatically when Windows starts. Now we'll talk about why that's a factor. It's only going to come up if you're going to use the tiered linking option that's up here that we talked about. So if you do choose to use the tiered linking option, it's going to require some scheduling and you're going to need it to run in the background when you start your computer so it actually has the ability to turn itself on and run the, run the tool when necessary. So. With that out of the way, if all of you want to get started on building your backlink so we can start seeing some rank in Google, 